more stuff. Now I'm heading home. I'm going to cook myself a delicious dinner of grilled chicken, the special loco chicken that my sister taught me how to cook, and some rice, and that's probably it. Probably some water. I recently downloaded this incredible app called Livestrong. It's part of like you know the bracelet campaign that Lance Armstrong started, I guess. Um, but it's like a meal tracker, food tracker thing, and it's free for your iPad. And I was like, yes, I need this in my life. Um, because, little known fact, I was totally nuts back in middle school. And I literally filled up composition notebooks. Just piles and piles of composition notebooks with uh, everything I ever ate, ever. And all the exercise I ever did, ever. And, yeah, I was totally nuts. Because I'm OCD and I'm crazy like that, that I had to do it every single day and could not skip a day. Like, I was nuts. I had probably like five or six notebooks just totally full of food. And it wasn't like I was counting calories or anything. I was just tracking it. I was just totally just writing it down. And that was it. Like, that's all I was doing. And I don't think it helped at all. I think it was totally crazy. Um, but now I have this Livestrong app. So this is, you know, several years later, obviously. And now I have this Livestrong app. It's really good for me because I can see how many calories I'm intaking and how many I'm burning. And, and it's just, ah, oh, so good. So, so good. And I'm very excited about it. Oh, a turtle. I did it. it, it. It's very close. I thought it was mud, but then it wasn't. It was a turtle. So, yes, if you like my new aviators, well, they're not really new, but I haven't worn them in a video yet. And I got them for five cents. Yeah, I know, right? Because I'm a super shopper. No, there was this thing at my college, and it was like, like a garage sale kind of thing. But it was people who were moving out of the dorms selling their old stuff to people who were moving into the dorms. And somebody was selling these sunglasses I got them for five cents. It was fabulous. I got this really cool pair of shoes at that sale for like a dollar or something. And then I got uh, some coasters. Yeah, I got some coasters for like 25 cents each. That was awesome. And then I got like a DVD of Gladiator. No, it wasn't even a DVD. It was a VHS of Gladiator. I don't think I've ever watched it, but it was 10 cents. So I bought it and I was like, yeah. I went on like the fourth day of the sale, so everything was marked down to like, you know, quarter prices. It was great. Oh, Sniz app. I totally got this like touch lamp there for like two bucks. Oh my gosh, it's like a lifesaver. I have it next to my bed. And when I'm stumbling out in the morning, I don't know what, you know, is up or down. I can just reach over and be like, boop, and then it's like light in my room. And I'm like, yes. So that's pretty sweet. So interesting thing that I've noticed recently is that, um, well, first of all, I work in a small town. I mean, really small, like really small town, like one, you know, residential block and like one uh, district or one like business block and that's like it. And so one thing that I've noticed about some of my kids is that they are really bored. Like a lot of the time, there's just like nothing to do. And uh, I guess they haven't discovered the internet because that's totally what keeps me going. Yeah. The internet's so full of awesome that it's like if you get good Wi Fi, it's like you're solid. Uh, but one thing I've noticed about these kids is they're really bored, like a lot. And so uh, they do stupid stuff, like really stupid stuff. Like they do crazy stunts. Like one kid, he was showing me a video on his phone the other day of him jumping off a bridge. I was like, Are you insane? Um, and then some other kids were telling me about how. They were just killing random small animals just for the fun of it. And I was like, that's not even fun. That's psychotic, okay? I'm sorry. But like serial killers, they kill small animals before they kill people. Like that's a logical step for a serial killer. It's like, I'm sorry, you're raising a bunch of psychopaths out here. And I'm not trying to preach at you or anything. But if you live in a small town, okay? Parents, parents, listen up. If you live in a small town, do your kids a favor. Get them something to do. Get them some internet access or some Xboxes or game systems or something, anything. Because holy cow, they're going to go out and kill themselves trying to do all these crazy stunts. Or they're going to become psychopaths because they're killing small animals. Ah! It's crazy. So in other news, daylight savings time just happened here recently. So the way to remember if you're losing or gaining an hour is that in the spring, we spring forward an hour. And in the fall, we fall back an hour. I know. Ah! Got you covered here. Anyway, but we lost an hour, but it didn't really matter to me so much because I had a three-day weekend, which was freaking sweet. So, anyway, clocks be crazy, um, but you know, it happens, it happens. Um, so thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all soon.